Good, Good morning. morning and welcome to day four. Yes, it is day four. Now, yesterday was a second sea day down to the Southern Caribbean, as it were. So we decided to take the day off as a mm. work day. Definitely. We did a couple of things. It was Valentine's Day yesterday, and they had a couple of cute events. And it wasn't like super over the top with Valentine's Day stuff. No. But let's see, what do we need to throw it back to? We got some clips of some things. Mm. So we had the Captain's Club Loyalty Party, which was basically open to anybody who had cruised at least one time previously, and they had some tunes. They recognized the top cruiser. Now I'd like to introduce you to the main man here on board, a lovely man and an even better captain. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the master commander of the Celebrity Silhouette. It's Captain Nigel! 45 cruises, 6,692 points and counting. Then we just kind of hung out throughout the day, but there was a big vow renewal, which they were billing as the biggest vow renewal at sea. We saw a couple of cruise lines that said they were doing the same thing. First of all, the one thing I want you guys to do is there will be a ring exchange during this ceremony. So if you want to now take your wedding ring off and skip it to your partner, we will then send you a wonderful meal certificate champagne roses all that good stuff and then we ended up in the sky lounge doing some games and trivias and i won the music trivia and you know what the prize was nothing that's all right so today we are in saint martin now of the five ports in a row that we have saint martin is probably the one that people have been to the most but we're thinking that maybe, you know, we can jump out and explore some ship pools and things like that on a day where hopefully some people have gotten off and left the ship a little bit less crowded. I don't know. We'll see. It's a gamble. How many people are skipping St. Martin? I don't know. Right. And if you're wondering, I lost my voice from silent disco. Oh gosh, hooting and hollering. Screaming a lot. So I'm trying mm. not to talk too much, but I'm yeah. fine. It's just, yeah. So Jay's going to do a lot of talking. As always. <laughs> anyway, let's roll out St. Martin ship day. Here we come. Let's go. Someone has hidden a duck behind the elevator button pushy thing. All right, let's go. Oh, this is cool. Did you spy that one out? Yeah, look, you can see our panoramic shot as we go to the sky for food. It's really pretty. So welcome back to Ocean View Cafe. Well, it's not crazy crowded in here. That could be a good sign. Well, I would call that a breakfast success. And now welcome to the outside. Let's go down a deck to the pool. That gets me every time on this class of ship. I forget the buffet is one deck above the pool deck. Got it. Oh, they've already got the towels pre-stocked on the chairs. Looking good out here. They do have these little sort of cabana looking beds out here, which I guess are first come first serve. This doesn't look like something you would rent. They're just kind of all spaced down the pool deck and there's quite a few of them. Anyway, um, so the difference in these two pools from what we're seeing is that far pool is five foot three inches and the closer pool here is three foot five. So they have what they call the family pool that's shallower and the sports pool is deeper up there by the bar. All right, we got multiple ladders for entry, it looks like. Of course, we have chosen the deeper of the two pools. Psh, we don't need that shallow pool over there, but they're separated by this little bridge. Is it nice in there? Five foot six. Oh, five six? Oh, I see. It says it goes from 5'3 to 5'7. Yeah. Oh, I can barely touch. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is pleasant. All right. This will do nicely. They got some nice tunes out here. Yeah, it's like they play 90s, 2000s, and today. 
I still have no voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't be um, singing along to the tunes. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but it's like a chill level, so you can still have a conversation, which yeah. is really nice. I like it, yeah. Good I've job, heard, celebrity. I've heard like Goo Goo Dolls, we got Ed Sheeran right now. Yo, I forgot I can't interview Dee when she's lost her voice like that. <laughs> oh no. It's all good. Well, there are our pool rules, no lifeguard on duty, bather load 30. Woo. Oh man, is this Ashley Simpson? I think our little gamble is paying off well today with our <laughs> uncrowded pool. Um, it is a fresh water pool for the record because we did the float test. Neither one of us floats <laughs> as well in this water and some of it might have fallen on my lip as well and it didn't taste salty, Ew. but I waited till the germs died off. See, if you put a little bit right here, give it five seconds because the five second rule and then it, you can tell that's not that is not scientifically do accurate that. at all don't do that but <laughs> we can tell by the float test that this is a freshwater pool up on the stage this is our giant connect four giant game connect four. if you want to take a crack on our giant game of connect four i want to challenge a friend side note y'all you yeah. might notice the return of the blue rash guard i am no longer black t-shirt boy if you followed our icon of the seas series or our new amsterdam series we've been chronicling the saga of the rash guard y'all amazon finally came through i'm good i'm sun protected again pop tarts is a little something different a little something unique coming a combination of cornhole and darts or pop darts well, I came up here to look at pop darts and found somebody in a hot tub. What? What is right. even happening? It's actually not too hot. It's uh, warm though. So he said it's a cross between darts and cornhole. I don't know that I've heard of such a thing. Oh, she found the bubbler. Wow. That's extreme. Oh yeah, see they're throwing darts at kind of like an angled dartboard thing. I'm not sure if it has a hole in it. Well, that's interesting. Fun to see they got stuff cranking out here on a fork day. Hot tub update time. Can you even hear me in a hot tub? I hope so. Uh, now this class of ship, our loyalty level gives us access to the Persian Garden Spa on a port day. So we thought about doing that today. But you know what? We're, we're enjoying the pool and hot tub life and we're not so much spa people. So we're like, th this is the plan. We might check out a Persian Garden some other time, but ah, this is where I want to be right now. Yep, time for another dip in the cold pool. Y'all, those deck boards are hot. Woo, I was glad to dip my low toes in here. <laughs> Be careful, put your shoes next to the pool. Yeah. Ouch. Woo, my feet. It is refreshing in here now though. Woo. Well, let's see if we can get out of water mode for now. So we were smart, we put our stuff in the shade. <laughs> Now let's jump up a deck. We will probably end up here for lunch, but they do have ice cream. Well, it looks like there's only one other ship in port with us today, which is this Ritz-Carlton vessel over here called the Evrima. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Well, our day of ship exploration continues. I think we're gonna come to the back of the ship and discover the, what have they got? The lawn club? I always call it the wrong word. The yard, the I call it. Yes. Yeah. If you can resist the call of the buffet and go up these stairs, we'll find what we're looking for. Welcome, relax, and enjoy the lawn club. Please refrain from wearing high heel shoes or using deck furniture on the grass. Got some checker table rocking chairs out here next to what appears to be a photography studio. So let's have a wander on the lawn. Now this ship does not have the hot glass class like we experienced on Equinox. I think that's only on three ships. Okay, this is the Lawn Club Grill. Take a little peek at their menu. This is an upcharge venue. That's a lot of words. Okay, so this path was for the restaurant. This outside path should take us where we want to go. There's the giant television movie screen, okay. So a lot of this is kind of roped off. I'm not sure what sections are meant to be accessed. We'll just take a peek over and let's look down at an alcove. <laughs> there we go, so you got these private alcoves. Oh, nice little grab and go cubby for blankets it looks like. Yep, so very nice. 
just not able to be accessed right now, but that's all right. We even got matcha balls out there. And then at the very back of the ship, we've got kind of a seating area back here. Towel stations. Ah, sunset bar. All right, what kind of stuff have we got back here? I want to let you be Vanna. Libations. Bubblies. That's all their wines, reds and whites. Bears and zero proofs. Nice. Well, we'll get some peaks at St. Martin while we're back here. I see they've got the trams running, helping people get up and down the piers. Weather is glorious. <laughs> Sunset bar officially back here. So that was the smoking side that we just passed, and this should be the non-smoking chilling side. <gasps> Y'all, we found some grass you can walk on. This side is open. <laughs> Dia's out here dancing on the grass. Yeah, so just certain parts of it, I guess, are shut down so they can let it, you know, grow and have good grassy times. So they got beanbag toss out here. There's that bocce ball from before all the way up to the big screen. Well, I guess we can confirm that you do need reservations for the alcoves. Oh, those professional skills. Here on the other side, we've found a place called The Porch. That looks cool. They got snacks and stuff. Well, at some point, I guess they do have food here. So this looks like it would be an upcharge, maybe a seafood option, judging by the fish and the lobsters that are on the sign there. That's cool. All right, the app says $30 per person. So there is a little sneaky peek at the menu. A couple of upcharge items from that, like the jumbo seafood tower. Nice. And now it is lunchtime. So past the mast bar, which is a smoking section, back over to the mast grill. Oh, there's a little peek at the mast grill menu. We got all the fixings there, of course, that they put on, and then, of course, the condiments that you can put on yourself here. We got malt vinegar and lots of fun sauces. It is cheeseburger time. No bun for D and a bun for me. And now back to the inside. Ah, here comes the door. Do, 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 do. Good, Good evening. evening. We are ready to slide into fresh and clean mode. You already did. That's true. <laughs> so we're ready to bounce out of this cabin and get it started, I should say. Now, I had an amazingly relaxing, chill day. Me too. Pools. Hot tubs. And y'all, I did something today that I hardly ever do. I went down every water slide on this ship. Because there are none. Yeah. Oh! Celebrity does not have water slides. This is true. That's but okay, no. We're ready to bounce out for cocktail hour, yeah. dinner. I think there are some tunes later, but they're starting a little later than normal. Mm -hmm. Lots of musical stuff going on around the ship tonight. There's Elton John stuff. There's ABBA stuff. There's Beatles stuff. And it all overlaps. So we're Conglomeration. Gonna, yeah. There's also a lot of game shows and things going on. They also overlap. So they're doing a good job of spreading people yeah. out on this ship. That's but good. we're going to have to pick and choose what we want to do. So let's get out, start picking and choosing. Let's do it. Come on. Into the ensemble lounge we go. Yep, they got the animal noises going. Well, our tunes for the evening will come from the duo Love and Soul. And I think they said this is a 60s specific set, but we'll see where they go. <laughs> Welcome back to Grand Cuvée Dining Room. Well, we are down on deck three here on the bottom level of the dining room tonight.
with dinner. We've come out to the atrium just in time for a few live tunes. We have got the stowaways getting ready to kick up here in the atrium, or the grand foyer. any better than that. Well, we're off to see an Elton John tribute now. Oh, it's the Yes No Game Show here at the uh, Entertainment Court area. Oh, the doors are open. Let's go. So this is Remember When Rock Was Young, the Elton John Experience. What, what nonsense is this? Wait a minute. Just sitting here innocently waiting for an Elton John show. And here we get ambushed by the Neil Diamond. Uh, I can't say. <laughs> Play number six for the year. Uh, it's Five. more than that. Oh no, it's more than that. You cannot escape it on cruise ships, I'm telling you. Y'all, just just listen to all these crazy, crazy people. Ah. Stop it, stop it. You're not helping. Is this like the orchestra's entrance song? I hope I don't have to hear this every show. Y'all, that is not fair. <laughs> Folks, if you're ready for a great show tonight, give me a yeah! yeah! This man has toured all over the world and he is going to blow your mind. I want you to start the clapping, start the cheering, melt the energy in the room!
into the world. Uh, they've just kicked off the ABBA dance party. I think we're gonna head up and get a beverage from the Lido deck. So now it's beverage time and washi washi time. Yeah, they're getting everything shut down on the food front up here other than some late night snacks, but the beverages are still here. Hey, here's where they keep their D's. For tea. Let's refresh our memory on late night snacks. Oh, I see they've got sort of a make your own pasta station with, of course, all of these toppings. There are fruits which you don't put on your pasta. Ooh, and pizzas. Well, I saw Cajun spicy chicken and I just couldn't help myself. And then, of course, pepperoni didn't want to be alone, so it needed a friend. One, six, two. We have come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow, which is St. Lucia, as well as a laundry bag which we requested for some fresh undies, and two dark chocolates, which were on the pillows. Good nice. noche. We <laughs> are ready to go to bed. We are. All right, first we got to wrap up everything. So what have we been up to? Listen to some tunes, Music. of course, there at the cocktail hour. It was the Love and Soul duo tonight. Yeah, they're cute. Um, we have had her before. She mm. worked at the coffee shop on oh, Equinox, I think she's okay. at. Yeah, and now she's in one of the singing groups, so that's amazing. That is fun. Yeah. And then after dinner we caught, I think it's the Stowaways, mm -hmm. is that band? Very good. It was like yeah. 80s music, I believe. And the grand showtime of the evening was Sir Elton John himself. It was. I'm convinced yeah. that, because uh, when he came out, he started saying things like, when I released this song back on my second album in 1492, and I was like, it's Elton John. <laughs> Him and Christopher Columbus were hanging out together. Nice. So he, but he presented the show as if he were Elton John, so I believed it. He was fantastic, Elton John, yeah. No, um, love the variety of songs that he chose to perform, and the costume was really cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he didn't do a ton of costume no, changes. Like no. we've seen other Elton Johns before yeah. that do like extravagant costume changes. I think he came out with like a cool jacket on, and then he oh, left God. the stage for a while, and I was like, "Whoop, he's doing a costume change." Just took the jacket. He off. took the jacket <laughs> off. Came, came back out. So, but that was cool. Yeah. All right, dig into dinner time. Let's do it. All right, let's look. You had, I think that's pasta fagioli. It's good. It was so acidic though. Like I, some tomatoey things can be a little too acidic. That was mm. like really almost burning acidic. So the flavors were there, but a little too strong for me that the flavor way. Flavor was acid. It was yeah. Yeah. Is it fazool or fazool? Mm. I don't know. A lot of people I say pasta fazool. I like. I just know it's in that song. I know. However that works. I had French onion soup. I joined the soup train as well. Yeah. Delicious. I do love celebrities French onion soup. I think I probably proclaimed it favorite French onion soup. It holds up. He it's, did. Mm, and I love it. And <laughs> Cheesy. How can you go wrong? And hey, I continued my trend again. I got a salad. And you know why I got that salad? Because it's a wedge and it comes with blue cheese. <laughs> That's uh, most times that you see a salad on my plate, it might have blue cheese on it. Yeah. Delicious. Eggs, bacon, blue cheese. How can you go wrong? That green thing in the middle is okay too. It's like a super healthy the salad, lettuce. right? <laughs> it's probably one of the worst salads you can I get, huh? <laughs> Seared branzino for you. Yeah, this was good. The skin was super crispy and tasty. Um, the lentils were a little toothsome, if I do say so myself, okay. and uh, the parsnip puree was delicious. Really liked it. I think it. I had a bite of those lentils. I remember. Yeah, they were a little yeah. like. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> I had braised lamb wrapped in phyllo. Now, you, I'm I'm a sucker for various. I've said this before. Food presentation styles. Mm. If something is wrapped in a pastry, I usually get it. You'll see me get Wellingtons. I love things wrapped in phyllo. Pig in a blanket. Oh my gosh, <laughs> pig in a blanket, y'all. Now, the vegetables underneath here, they, you know, they weren't doing too much. They're good. It's peas and carrots and all that. But that lamb, it's slow braised. It fell apart. You just stick the fork. Oh, it pulled apart. It was rich. It was delicious. Filo, hmm. Yeah, I could have eaten one five times that big. Wow. Hmm. Four times that big. <laughs> I'll be... You had strawberry angel food cake. Yeah, this was really good. No sugar added. Um, nice and moist. Had really good flavor overall. I could have used a few more strawberries because yeah. they're really good. They're fresh strawberries. Um, but yeah, that was delicious. They gave you like 0.5 strawberries. I know. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. I had the peach clafouti, mostly because I always keep forgetting what the heck a clafouti is. Mm -hmm. It's essentially like a little cakey cobbler baked down in a dish. Yeah. Always pleasant. Crispy little top on there. I don't know what the thing is on top. I guess it's probably it's not creme like fraiche. It's like a yogurty sauce. I don't know what it is, but delicious and peachy and fruity. And I mean, it's a perfectly lovely. I think yeah. it's the Fit Fair on the menu too, which mm -hmm. is funny. And you got the no sugar added. I did. Yeah, it was good. <sighs> Y'all, that's it for this evening. So sleepy time. Yeah. <laughs> so join us tomorrow. More fun See as you always. Then. Good night. <laughs>